So it was 1957. It was a good year for cars. It was a bad year for haircuts. We needed cars. Man, we needed cars. We needed amber Indians on Pontiac hoods, and we needed radio dials that lit up when we made love for the first time the best that we could. Man, we needed rolling tuck. We needed baby moons, hemis under glass, and all the things that ended too soon. It could be that we were running from something. It could be that someone was asking something of us that we just weren't willing to do. And it might have been that someone was asking for their freedom. And I think it was highly misunderstood. You see, President Eisenhower was sending in the troops into Little Rock, Arkansas, so that one little black girl could go to school, and the National Guard shows up, and Look Magazine and Saturday Evening Post, man, they show up and they're ready to take pictures of all of the things that happen and the only thing that happens is they catch a picture as one of the guardsmen wipes the spit from her braids as she walks into the classroom with the last bit of dignity she may ever have. September of 1957, a man named Jack brought out a book. It was written in 1949. About he and his friend going from New York City to San Francisco, California, man, and there were red-headed nurses, and there were black whores, and there were coffee, and there was Benzedrine, and there was methadrine, and there was cars. We needed cars. You ever read a book that you'd never wanted to end? You read the last 20 pages as slow as you can. better than cars. We put you on the road, and we are on the road. We are on the road. Dean Moriarty don't live here no more. He's off in California, he works in a liquor store. It's two packs of cigarettes, man, it's one half of a pint. He's off to his room on the Mexican side. He says he's through with the railroad freight car line. Fight between the moon and the lantern light. He says he's going cross country. And he might come by Sticking to the highway Yet to hell with the tracks and I can't take What you may give me I've always wanted more And my mercury 
Got a brand new baby. Man, she's got a new pair of shoes. He's driving somebody's car, but he don't know who's. He's been up all night, but it don't show. He won twenty-five dollars in the hammer throw. It's a three-fingered guitar, it's a saxophone that bites, and Jack's been reading her poetry, man. He's been spilling her wine, and her hair's so pretty, and she smells like juicy fruit gum. Her old man's the black guy on them Congo. I can't take what you may give me. I've always wanted more, and my mercury humming road may put me to sleep outside your door. So Neil and I are sitting in the welfare line, waiting for our welfare checks, and Neil suddenly has a vision of the Three Stooges. What if they were real, and what if they were in the line with us right now, and nobody suspected it? Suddenly, come the thunks, the eyeball boinks, and everyone is going crazy. Pow, slam, thwonk. I hope the uh, um, I hope we taping that man. That's uh, Texas Song Theater. You're in, man. the radio Well it's playing her song but it just ain't here You see a man like him's got no business with a wife in the care And it's the last of the red wine from a night full of thrill It's a coast to the bottom of Frisco Hill How can a body begrudge another body a ride? Didn't steal your car, I just borrowed it a while. I can't take what you may give me. Always wanted more. And my mercury. Come and roll and make but me to sleep outside you do. And my mercury, humming and roll and make but me to sleep outside you do. You know Dean Moriarty. He don't live here no more He's off in California, he works in a liquor store Where it's two packs of cigarettes, man, and it's one half of a pint 
He's off to his room on the Mexican side Richard Bicknell, Susan Lindford. <laughs>